Good afternoon, Jason here, Birchfield Family Farm, Oxford, Ohio. Good word today is from Proverbs 4, 23. Above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. Just a quick video today. I wanted to tackle um, a subject, a question, a comment that we get quite often on our St. Croix sheep. This uh, question of parasites, their parasite resistance. Uh, there have been a few times where you'll see in, in some of the videos, uh, the sheep develop scours. And scours is just a term for uh, diarrhea in animals. So cattle can have that as well. We're just over two weeks from lambing here. And um, I pulled them off of the area with the cattle for a couple different reasons. Uh, you guys know our sheep and cattle run together uh, over the summer in the grazing season, multi-species rotational grazing, but also in the winter, we run them together as well. And that can be really challenging, uh, especially this time of year when uh, cattle are uh, really hogging the hay and sheep uh, don't have as much access, but you've got the green, the small green shoots of grass coming on. And so uh, we've got some scouring here in the sheep. Uh, let's take a look and uh, let's talk this over. Okay, so you can see here, we've got a few with just a little bit of dirtiness on the, on the hind end there. And man, these mamas are getting big, aren't they? Wow, look at that tummy. Woo. One of the common questions I get is, hey, I thought you said, St. Croix sheep were parasite resistant. At House Come in one of your videos, I saw one with a dirty butt. So that is one of the common misconceptions with St. Croix sheep is just because they have a, they're scouring that you have a parasite issue. You know, the biggest parasite uh, with St. Croix is barber pole worm. And barber pole worm typically uh, does not present uh, with scouring. And there are many, many, many reasons that ruminant animals can scour. Okay, the most common one that we've found over the years is diet. But it can be bacteria, it could be viruses, it could be parasites, and it could be that diet. There are many, many reasons for this. So just because you know you see a, a ruminant animal, the cattle do this too, just because you see a ruminant animal with a scouring on the backside does not necessarily mean they're wormy. But what happens this time of year is cattle hog that hay, and then the sheep are forced to eat the little tiny sprigs of green grass coming up and those are those are very very high in protein yeah fascinating thing is these these ruminants are uh little fermentation tanks you know they say in they say in one drop of rumen fluid there are more microbes than there are people on earth uh, so that's something to think about pretty fascinating you know the other reason as i talked about for pulling them off here is I just want to look these mamas over. Uh, you can see she is massive. Absolutely huge. Let's see if she'll let us get a shot of that udder here. And uh, yeah, you can see her bagging up there already. Even being, uh, you know, two and a half weeks out, she's got that bag coming on. So I would say, you know, at least uh, twins, possibly triplets. So uh, you just never know. All right, we've had them get big too and just put out a huge single. Had that last year and uh, saved that ram back. He is a, he's a bruiser. Hey, mama. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> the other thing on ruminant animal scouring uh, that we've learned, when we have very young animals that are still nursing, either a lamb or a calf, and we see scouring, especially if we see uh, blood or mucus in the um, excrement, then that's that's serious. Got to get some electrolytes. Typically, uh, they're not that young animal is not getting enough from what we've learned. But I'm not saying that's always the case. You know, and that's the other thing too is this is not vet advice. I'm not telling you if you have animals that are scouring that that there's a definite solution. That's the whole point of this video is there are many different things. What we've learned in our experience is, is if it's not a young animal like a calf or a lamb uh, and it is spring, uh, we're gonna put some hay out. Could we supplement with electrolytes? We could, typically I don't do that. Uh, just putting out some hay, good clean water, uh, some good mineral, uh, leaving that out for them. Kind of balance that as you, there's kind of an art too this time of year, balancing kind of how much to put them out on green lush pasture and how much hay to feed 
uh, kind of gas and brake pedal there. The Ohio State University has a really great article on scouring and ruminants. Um, I will, I'll link to that. And uh, down below, you can read that over. But one other thing too to keep in mind here, uh, dragging, dragging some hay over, you like my, my red trash can. Uh, this has been a long winter of putting hay out. Now, one other thing to keep in mind though, is that the expectation that every single animal on your farm, uh, including the sheep, St. Croix sheep, that they are going to outperform uh, and they're just gonna be uh, great. Uh, that's not realistic, at least not in our experience. Uh, and you have to remember, you know, when you're when you're managing a farm and you're keeping your animals safe from predation, uh, that is nature's way of naturally pruning, right? It's nature's way of keeping things in balance is the predators come in and they take out the wheat's weak stock. And, uh, you know, if you, if you have an animal that is, consistently scours all the time, uh, does not perform, uh, maybe does not uh, uh, reproduce or, or whatever, then you you as the farmer have to act as that predator. Uh, you have to call, uh, and I am, a, I am an advocate for that. I am uh, a firm believer that we have to do that to be improving uh, our genetics and to maintain uh, healthy flocks and herds. I hope this helps somebody out uh, today. I know uh, health issues with livestock, especially when you're just starting out, can be really overwhelming. Let us know. Uh, let us know if we can help here. Comment, question, and uh, <laughs> we'll talk to you next time. Take care.